after understanding the Marshallian demand function, the other type of the demand functions would be Hicksian demand function. It is also known as compensated demand function. It is attributed to Hicks 1904 till 1989 in his life span. It is also known as the utility held constant demand function because in this demand function we keep the utility constant while well, price of X and Y, that is the two or more goods, they are also involved in determining the level of demand. So for this, what we do is we want to minimize the budget to achieve a certain level of utility. So we want to minimize the cost and we have a certain level of utility that we want to achieve. So here you can see the things are inverted. The constraint uh, is now uh, the budget function whereas it was a constraint uh, it was uh, it is actually an objective function here whereas it was a constraint before here the constraint is utility function whereas in the Marshallian demand function it was the objective function so things are inverted here uh, we use the like region method to achieve the minimization of the budget or expenditure this will be the expenditure function once we optimize it by using the leg like region multiplier method. So this is what we are trying to do, achieve that optimal level of utility. And once we do this, we get a minimized expenditure function and it will be in terms of the prices of the commodities and the utility level as you can see here in its expected form. Now we do this process where we have the utility function which is the Cobb Douglas specification of a utility function the budget line is this in this case as we know that we have to minimize the expenditure cost so we keep it here as the objective function and we invert the utility function here as you can see the term on the right hand side has been lifted to the left hand side and becomes a negative value. Now we can find out the first order conditions one by one that is differentiating the leg like region function with respect to x, y and lambda respectively. Now we have these three equations after we solve these three derivatives we will get this triad of three equations the first two first order conditions can be solved here simultaneously by equating the values of lambda we have extracted the value of lambda here and here and then we have equated them so once we equate them we have these expressions here these are the two terms that can be shifted reciprocalized and here you can see it has been reciprocalized here again it has been reciprocalized so now both of the x terms are in the numerator and y has both of the denominator places now this is uh, when we solve these two terms it becomes x and when we solve these two terms it becomes y solving these two values will give us 1.22 and py over px is the term on the right hand side so we get a term uh, that is here and it is representing the value of x in terms of y 